Well, Google says your ads are approved, but nothing's running. Here's some ideas on how to fix that. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur and marketing geek. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our YouTube ads playbook that walks through how to properly structure and set up your campaigns so you are much less likely to go through this pain. Now, when it comes to your campaigns, let's, let's say they are running and you're looking at your account and all of a sudden you realize, I have a bunch of ads that say they're approved, but nothing's actually happening. Well, number one, you're not alone. But number two, it can be kind of an arduous process to figure out. So the very first thing we want to do is make sure that our ads are in fact actually approved. So to do that, jumping back into the interface here, I'm gonna jump over to ads and assets. And then what you can do is you can click on add filter and we'll just say status and we'll say policy approval status. And then you'll see you can go ahead and check to see which ads are disapproved, approved but limited, or approved and limited in all locations. And so I just go ahead and click on these, disapproved, and I'll click apply. And then we'll have a nice long list of all the ads in my account that have been disapproved for whatever reason. You can see some of them were, were just removed. But all you need to do is mouse over here and it's going to tell you why they're disapproved. So in this particular instance, destination not working, unavailable video, malicious software. My site got hacked really bad two years ago and uh, Google's hated me ever since. I told them I was sorry. I told them I had fixed it and they just, they just don't believe me. So anyway, you can just go down here and you can see the different reasons uh, why ads aren't working. Of course, most of these are just gonna say uh, destination not working or not working. What's this one? Uh, unavailable or unavailable video. Sometimes you'll find that you'll have a campaign that you ran and you turned it off and then you turn it back on and then it says the video is unavailable even though it's still there. So in this particular instance, this video is live on YouTube. <laughs> it's one of our most popular ones right now. So if you see that and you're like, the video is live and you're saying it's not here, you just have to remake the ad in the campaign or ad group and then it'll work just fine. But this is where you go to make sure that your ads are actually approved and not limited. So if I click on approved but limited here, you'll see that there are some ads that sometimes, for example, like this one saying trademark in ad text, right? So I was promoting a video a long time ago that was comparing two softwares. Well, even though it's okay to run those, to make those types of videos for YouTube, as soon as I start paying, the companies who own the trademarks so are like, hey, don't run ads on, on our trademark um, because that goes outside of uh, some of the fair use stuff. I'm not a lawyer, don't ask me how it works, but um, if you have any sort of trademarks in your thumbnail or in your video, you might find that you run into this same issue. And of course, you mouse over and it will uh, always tell you what's going on. So for example, this one, restricted drug terms, trademarks, uh, medical content, uh, I don't know what it has to do with Udemy, but you'd wanna watch your video and scrutinize it like under a microscope. If you were the most unreasonable person ever, where would you find a medical thing? And if you can't find anything, then you can ask for it to be reviewed. Do this sparingly though, because you can, and the reason why you really want to be scrutinizing your own videos is you could make a joke or you could have something in the, like a, Tylenol bottle in the background. And unless you blur that out or unless you take that joke out that's completely taken out of context, Google will review it and then they'll come back and say, no, really, you violated our policy. And by the way, now we're gonna ban your entire account because you've repeatedly you know, uh, gone against our terms. And you're like, what the heck? It was just a joke or what the heck? It was, it was just in the background. Like I, I wasn't trying to do anything. Um, so really be careful when it comes to going and trying to uh, reapply. So that does it for the ad policies, right? Okay, so let's say none of that was helpful and you're like, all my ads say they're fine, they're ready to go. Well, number one, double your bids. So whatever bidding you're using, if you're using CPV, go from 10 cents to 20 or 30. Just say, hey, Google, just take my money. Just, just see what happens when you say, Google, take my money. And after a day or two, if you still don't have any uh, impressions or views, then you know there's probably something wrong with your settings targeting. But that's the very first place you want to look is just saying, okay, maybe Google's just being mean and wants more money out of me for some strange reason. And if that doesn't work, then it's most likely a targeting issue inside of your uh, ad groups. 
And there are a lot of things that could go wrong here. So we'll start with the most common. And that is if you are running in-stream ads using placement targeting. So if you're targeting specific channels, you're targeting specific uh, videos, and you're running in-stream or even in-feed, and you're not getting views or impressions, it's just because those channels and videos don't have enough views for your ads to run. And really, I've had channels million plus subscribers, no views. A channel, 250K subscribers. YouTube couldn't take enough of my money, right? So when you look at the size of the channel or the number of views, there's really a lot that goes on in the background that we don't necessarily know. So if you're using placement targeting and you're not getting views, it, it's pretty much the targeting. It's Google saying, hey, it's too small. And on top of that, if you are using any sort of demographic targeting, right? So if you went into your ad group and you said, I only want people who are 65 in the top 10% income bracket who are male, right? Like that's really narrow. And so unless you're going to say, I'm going to pay 50 cents a click <laughs> or 50 cents per view, Google is just not going to be able to find enough people to run the ads. And so the actual same problem can happen with keywords if you're using really long tail keywords as opposed to like Facebook ads tutorial for beginners auto dealership or for auto dealership, right? Like that's going to be too specific and narrow for YouTube ads where you just have to type target Facebook ads tutorial and kind of be much more broad. And so if none of those things work, then it's probably time to reach out to a Google rep and ask them why on earth your ads aren't working. But do make sure you go through this entire list. Make sure all of your ads are approved. None of them are approved limited. Make sure you've doubled, if not tripled your budgets, just to make sure it's not because Google's asking you for more money. And then go ahead and make sure that it's not because of your targeting where you're just being so narrow, Google can't uh, find anything. And so one of the things I like to do when I'm in this type of situation is I'll create a new campaign and I'll use an in-market audience, right? So I'll use an in-market audience, run an in-stream ad, pay 50 cents per, <laughs> per, per view for like a day or two, right? And if that campaign does not work, then there's you know probably something where Google might have shadow banned your account or maybe your entire account's under review, and then you have to go. But you definitely want to troubleshoot as much as possible and avoid having to contact Google themselves, uh, and especially try and avoid asking for something to be re-reviewed because Google is, they just have their finger over that ban button, like suspend for a lifetime. They're just like looking around for people to do that too. So be really careful if any of your ads are limited or have some sort of policy issues. So that is all there is to it, to trying to figure out whether or not why your ads might not be running, especially when you're trying to optimize your campaigns and you're like, I can't optimize because I'm getting no views or impressions. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you have some ideas of what to look at when it comes to figuring out why on earth your ads aren't running. Comment below if none of these helped. We do want to reply to as many as possible and help you. And of course, check out the link in the description to our YouTube ads playbook that actually walks through how to properly set up campaigns and structure them so it's really easy to troubleshoot and figure out what's going wrong. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.